welcome. I'm just heading out here in front of my craft studio. Want to come craft with me? Hi, so today I'll be doing a plan with me video, just showing you the process of my monthly planner. I use the Hello Forever planner from Studio Calico. So I'm just going to take you through and show you some of my past monthly spreads in my planner. So I do normally plan each month a little bit different to probably everyone else. Normally each day I kind of use as a summary of what happened that day. So while I will go and plan ahead and writing down events that I have on or things that are scheduled on certain dates like birthdays, I normally wait until a couple of weeks in and then I'll start planning out and embellishing and decorating the month. I like to change up each month, make it a little bit different or theme for that particular month. Say it could be spring so there'll be lots of flowers or if it's winter there'll be lots of cute things like teacups. So let's start planning out the month of August. So I'm going to start by illustrating a few little plant and leaf drawings and putting in the dates. What I really love about this Hello Forever Studio Calico Planner, I love that you can start off from scratch, you've got a clear palette to work with so anything goes and you can design the month any way you'd like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just referring back to some drawings I did of some succulents in my bullet journal and I'm going to put them in this August monthly planner spread. I'm sorry my hand's getting in the way here while I'm drawing. So I'm just drawing a little hanging succulent planner of one of my favourite succulents that I do have out in the garden which is called a donkey tailed succulent. I love looking at my plant collection and being inspired to draw them. I'm colouring in my drawings using some Tombow markers. I'm loving these right now. They are so good. They don't bleed through the page. They blend well together and you can also use them in your bullet journal. When I'm decorating I like to go through my embellishments and I do have a little cute scrap paper box of things that I've already stamped, um, papery souvenirs, packaging. I normally go through this, so I was inspired by this postcard to draw my own little mason jar on this cream piece of paper. I'm going through my sticker collection. Some of the things in here are from my stash and other things are just things that I've recently bought. I'm going to just put this on a time lapse so you can see me craft away and see how I decorate the month of August in my planner. getting some drawing inspiration again from my bullet journal. I picked up these really cool 80s style sunnies from the op shop. So I like to theme out each day of the monthly planner depending on what I've done that day. I will either do a little drawing to summarize what happened on the day or I'll use some planner stamps or some other embellishments from my craft collection. So I'm kind of doing some unpackaging of some new stationery that I've bought in this video as well. So it's kind of a cute little stationery haul wrap up in itself as well as a plan of me video. So in my planner I do like to use a combination of washi tape, drawings, plan stamps, stickers, embellishments, die cuts and scrap bits of paper or project life cards.
to decorate your monthly spread, you don't always have to use so many different stickers and planners. It's, it's really quite easy to make it your own using what you have on hand, what stickers you've got, maybe some things that you've got from pen pals, souvenirs that you've picked up in your local area. Um, you can even just use things like markers to put patterns in the squares. You don't always have to have like hordes and hordes of stationery and planner stamps to make a spread look pretty. Every day I look forward to documenting in my planner or journal. Documenting and journaling has been a big part of my life. Every year um, since I was a child I have kept either a journal or planner or even a notebook to record memories. That's the finished spread for August 2017. I love using planners and I love documenting so I'm looking forward to sharing some more of these type of videos in the future. Thanks for crafting and planning with me. this is my first plan with me video so I'd love to know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date with my latest videos and crafty makes thanks so much you can also find more of my work over on my blog at lifelikedocumented.com as well as my Instagram account at Jana Templeton